it's Debbie with the Food Cooking Channel. And today I'm going to show you something that I've already probably showed you before, but um, I'm going to do this from beginning to end so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm making a taco salad today, so this is kind of like a basic recipe, and this is how I do it. I've got like a pound and a half of um, ground chuck in here on my new wave, and you can, you sh yeah, you can see my new wave, I've got it on 375. I'm going to cut it down in a minute to 275. I'm just trying to get this ground chuck browned, and on my taco salad, I put a lot of different stuff. There's way more stuff that you could put on it. A lot of people add onions on theirs. I don't really like onions on mine. So what I've got is I've got some romaine lettuce here. And I've cut, these were just little bunches of them. So I've washed this and I'm going to cut it in half. <clears throat> and this is going to go on my plate. And then I've got a few, these are grape, yeah, the grape tomatoes, and I'm going to cut these in half, just like this. I've just cut them in half, and I'm going to continue doing that. I've got an avocado that I'm going to cut in half. I mean, I'm going to cut up and get the, um meat <laughs> out of that and I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Now I've got to get this hamburger browned up and the tomatoes cut up and then I'll bring you back and show you what I'm going to do with the avocado. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so what I've got is I've got a package of old El Paso taco seasoning mix. They have the hot now or the original. I'm just going to use the original. And I've just, just really, it's still a little bit of pink in here, but I'm going to go on and put the taco seasoning mix in here. I don't drain the hamburger because a lot of this is water and it will cook down. So I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to stir it up. And get it all combined with this ground beef and continue letting this cook and I've still got it on 375 and I absolutely love these pans I got on Groupon they are the best pans that I have ever used on my um, new way nothing sticks to them and I got three of them for $30 which is a, a really good deal and this is the biggest one and it's just it's just amazing all right so I'm going to go on now and cut this down I've got this pretty well mixed up all right and I'm going to go on and cut this down to 275 and let it keep um cooking and I've got my Here's my um, lettuce and my tomatoes. That's the first thing that I put on my plate is first the lettuce, then the tomatoes. Now I'm going to do the avocado. And for those of you that don't know how to cut up one, you just go around your avocado with your knife. And don't cut yourself. <laughs> until you meet and then you break it apart like that and then you take your knife and hope that it gets in there yep and the pit comes right out then you just throw your pit in the trash and I'm going to get this little these little pieces that came off of the pit out of here
All right, and then what I do is I go around the sides of the avocado to make sure that it's going to come out good. The peeling. And then you can take your knife and go all the way down to the peeling. Cut it across like that. I hope y'all can see this. Cut it across like that. And then go back and cut it like that. And it just... <laughs> Let me put it on my plate here. And avocados are supposed to be really good for you. And my blood sugar is up pretty bad. And I'm trying to eat a little healthier. I... It's hard <laughs> because I'm just, I didn't think I was a picky eater, but I, I really kind of am. I love vegetables, but, and I love fruits, but it seems like the fruits that I like the most are not what I should be eating. Like, I like bananas, and you're not supposed to eat bananas, and I could eat bananas all day. All right, I'm going to go on and turn this down to medium low. I'm going to I'm going to go on and get the other side out too because I I know that avocados are good for you. So I'm going to go on and put the whole thing on my uh, on my taco salad. So, let me show you just take your knife and cut all the way down going like this and then you go back turn your the avocado around and then go the opposite way and that's gonna make the little <laughs> then you get them out I don't I never have, this is, I've never really eaten avocados until the past two years, so I'm still learning myself how to get them, uh, get them out of here, out of the peeling, but I do okay. As long as you get it out, that's where, that's when it's okay. Alright, so I've got a couple brown pieces in here that I want to get out. I'm kind of picky about this. Alright, so there's that. My avocado is on here. And my hamburger, or ground chuck, it's ready. And there's a little bit of grease in the pan, but not very much. Alright, now the next thing that I'm going to put on here is I need to open this sour cream up. Alright, let me bring you right back. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put on here is I've got um, those Fido's, the tortilla chips, but these are scoops because at this little store down the road the other day, they didn't have anything but scoops, and I wanted plain, so I'm just going to have to break these up on here. And I break them up. This is a big salad, but pretty much everything that's on here, except for maybe this and I don't know. <laughs> These are not so good for you, but still. All right, and then I put the, let me go in and cut this off. I go in and put the, taco meat on here next. And if you want to drain your hamburger and put water in it like the thing says, that's fine. I just, I just don't do it because I have to 
it's hard on me being in a wheelchair to to go and do all this all right and so then it's falling everywhere <clears throat> but I have a certain way that I do this <laughs> <laughs> so, I move this so you can see. All right, and then I put my cheese on next. The cheese goes on top of the taco meat. If I can get it open. All right, and I just spread some around the top. On top of the meat. So that it'll melt some. Then I put my sour cream on it. And then I put my salsa. And I just use whatever salsa. I get medium. This is paste, the chunky salsa. And then I just kind of mix it all up together and try not to spill it all over the place and dig down in here and get a little bit of everything. Get my avocado and my lettuce and tomato and half of it spills and <laughs> all right there's my bite mm. Mm -mm. I love taco salads mm. Mm -mm. all right you see it didn't take me very long y'all were on here with me the whole time except when I was frying this up a little bit so it doesn't take long at all to put a taco salad together and they are so good and the lettuce and the tomato and even the the ground chuck is a low carb so it's pretty healthy for you it's not the best but it's pretty healthy so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel below there'll be the in the description box there'll be um a link where you could get your own new wave um the copper chef paying my link to my facebook my twitter and to zacon farm fresh foods meats where you can sign up for free and get your own farm fresh meats that come that come in your area and you have a good day and i'll talk to you later bye